Hello, welcome to this Photo Speed video with me, Tim Jones, in some different surroundings today. But I'm here to continue the Printing 101 series that I've started. And today we're looking at the difference between matte black and photo black, and which you should be using for your pictures. But before we get into any of that, please don't forget to subscribe to the Photo Speed YouTube channel and also sign up to the Photo Speed newsletter. I'll put some links and bits in the description below. So, that little bit of housekeeping out of the way. Let's get straight into looking at matte black and photo black and what kind of difference it makes. I should start really explaining what both of them are and also looking at which printers you can get matte black and photo black on as well because not all printers will have a choice of black inks. So when we're thinking about a choice of black inks like the photo black and matte black, we are usually looking at pigment based printers because they have more inks in there and a standard in pigment based printers is the matte black or photo black. Now the photo black is used on basically any paper with a bit of a shine. So basically the glosses, the lusters, the pearls, satins, and also includes the brighter papers as well. And the matte black, as you may have guessed, is actually for matte papers. So every printer probably will come with a photo black in it. But why we need a matte black ink is because the matte black is a little bit denser and because the ink soaks into the paper a little bit more on matte papers, we need a denser black ink to basically intensify that black and give us a better density of black as well. And that's basically what, what those inks do. So the photo black is probably a little bit thinner and sits on top of the page, whereas the matte black is a little bit denser, so it doesn't soak into the paper as much, so it gives a better black. Now I've got some prints on the table here, and in the middle here, I've got the two correct inks being used on the paper. I've got a print here on our PF Luster, and then I've also got a print here on our High White Smooth Light next to it. And I've used the matte black ink on the High White Smooth, because it's a matte paper, and I've used the photo black on the PF Luster because it's a luster type of paper, that's semi-gloss type of paper. Now, I'm just gonna put this one to the side a minute. I'm gonna look at what happens um, when, when you use the wrong ink. Maybe you have a bad day and you click on the wrong media type within the settings. The media type is basically doing two things. It's telling the printer which matte black to use, and it's also kind of adjusting the head height very slightly for fine art papers or thinner papers and things like that. Um, it does a couple of other things, but those are the two main things. And the main one is actually switching between photo black and matte black, just to see which one you actually want to use. And it is really important as well, because if you look at this print here, I'll do some close-ups as well. This is actually on the high white smooth paper and it's using the correct black ink. So we've got a nice density in the blacks here. Now if I put up the print that I've done using the photo black ink. So I'm hoping you can see the difference there. I'll put some close-ups though, so you can have a look. But you can see that this one here, which is the wrong, wrong ink basically being used on it and the photo black, you can see it's a lot grayer. There's almost this blue kind of hue to it as well. Um, and you've lost all the density there. It just looks really, really wishy-washy, to be honest. And you've lost definition, and it looks like there's a color cast on it. And you think, oh, God, oh, what's happened? The profiles have all gone, it looks horrible. You've lost all your detail and the shadows and things. Um, so it's quite easy to see if you know what you're looking for. If you don't, then possibly you might think, oh, it's the profiles and things and go from there. But really we should be getting, especially with black and whites as well, like I've done here. I've done black and whites because it's nice and easy to see. That's the only, only reason really. Um, but you can see the difference there, the difference it actually makes. Now it's quite interesting with the photo black because this is the photo black print here. And you can see here, we've got that lovely, beautiful silky black on the luster here. Now, if we use the matte black here, you'll see an instant difference. It almost looks a bit bronzy. You probably, if I catch it in the light for you, um, you'll probably see it's bronzy and you've got a gloss differential there. And actually, because we've used the matte black, this print will never fully dry either. So you've got to be a little bit careful because it will rub off on your fingers if you're handling it as well. 
and it's dramatically different. I mean, it gives quite a nice effect if that's kind of what you want, this nice bronzing kind of effect and shiny kind of metallic-y kind of effect, but it's not like a metallic paper because it, it's got this flat black in it. It's not really this lovely silky, beautiful black. It's got that kind of muddy feel to it. But then you also see loads of banding in it as well and things like that because it's just not designed to be used with that ink basically on the printer. So it, it can cause us some problems and it is really important to get the right ink as well. And just looking at the matte black one here actually, it does give quite a, a strange kind of effect to it but the problem is it will never fully dry and it will come off on your hands a little bit. So it's really important to select that media type. So if you're on the matte papers, make sure you select a matte paper. That hopefully has illustrated what matte black and photo black do, and also what the difference is between the two. And if you get the wrong one, what it can actually do to your picture. And it does make a really dramatic effect on the picture. It's always best if you do have a matte black and photo black, just to check those settings, make sure you get the correct media type. Now we have the download from, from our website with all the papers and all our equivalents within the Canon and Epson drivers that you can select for media types. If you haven't already watched my previous um, Printing 101 video on the three settings you need to get some decent prints out of your printer, please go back and watch it. I'll put a link in the description below because it explains the media types and where you can set those. So on that note though, I hope that's been useful for you and given you a little bit more insight into printing and the world of matte black and photo black inks. If you have any questions, pop them in the comments. And remember, don't forget to subscribe to the Photospeed YouTube channel and also sign up to the Photospeed newsletter on photospeed.com or just click the link below. Lovely, so until next time, bye-bye.